Hey, welcome back to the channel everyone, Oscar Owen here, and this week we're going to be learning a really, really fun move in card magic known as the card spread. So you guys wanted me to teach this for absolutely ages because I begin all of my magic tricks with this move if I'm doing card magic at the table. And it looks really cool. It's one of those amazing effects that people, you know, lose their minds over, even though it's not a card trick, it's just a flourish. And the best part about this move is if you follow the steps that I'm gonna lay out for you in this video, it's really, really easy to do. This is not something that takes you weeks and weeks to learn. You can actually learn this within an hour or two of practice if you just follow what I teach on this video. So speaking of that, to begin, this video is gonna lay out everything you need to know before you do the card spread. Then it's going to teach you how to do the spread itself. And then finally, it's going to teach you how to do the wave. Let's go to part one, which is the prerequisites needed to do the card spread. So there are only two things you need to really think about before you start trying to learn the card spread. But if you don't do these two things, you won't get the card spread down. So the first thing you need to think about is the surface on which you do the spread. So if you do the spread on a really smooth or polished surface, it's not gonna happen because the cards just slide along the table. There's no friction and you just won't even be able to do the spread itself. So the best surfaces to do the spread on is something that's got friction on it. So obviously, a card mat will work really well, but if you don't have that, just something like a wooden table or a carpet or something that's just slightly rough, it will allow you to just spread the cards evenly on the table and it will make your life so much easier. Secondly, you also want to have new or semi-new cards when you're doing the spread because you want the cards to slide easily in your hands as this will just allow you to, to spread them much more fluidly. So you want a rough surface and you want smooth cards. And once you've got those two things down, you're ready to move on to part two, which is the actual spread itself. Okay, so part two is learning how to do the card spread. So let's jump onto the table and I'll break this move down for you really clearly. So in order to do the spread, as I've already mentioned, you need a good surface and you need a new or relatively new deck of cards that can spread easily in your hands. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the deck in this position here. The deck is firstly, your thumb is gonna be at a slight angle on the bottom of the deck. These two fingers are going to be on the top corner of the deck. So your ring finger is on the very corner, you know, next next to the very corner. And your middle finger, I guess, is in the middle of the deck. And your little finger and first finger just hang loose. So we're in this position here. Then what you want to do is you want to bevel the deck to the side slightly. So you want the cards not like this, but you want them like this. And the way in which you do that is you press the cards onto the table and then your first finger just bevels them to the side ever so slightly. This is a very subtle touch, but will make the spread much easier. So you basically, let's just recap that. You hold the cards, the cards like this normally, you come over with your other hand, your thumb goes into the middle of the deck at an angle. This finger is on the top edge. The middle finger goes in the middle of the deck. These cards hang, these fingers hang loose. Then you place the cards onto the table and you just use this first finger to bevel them ever so slightly. Now, the way in which the spread works is you're applying downward pressure and sideways movement and the cards will spread out. So if I just take those two principles and don't do the proper grip, but I literally just put the cards here, apply downward pressure and sideways movement, you see I'm still actually getting a card spread. So they're the two fundamental parts that actually make up the card spread, but obviously you wanna have control over the cards, which is why we use this grip here. So now let's break down how this spread actually works. So you're in this position, you press the cards down onto the table, and then what's gonna happen is all of your palm is gonna be applying pressure down onto the packet. So this hand isn't just loose here, it's actually pressing down onto the cards. And that's gonna get the first part, which is the downward pressure. Then what's gonna happen is your thumb is gonna sort of grip the cards. Your thumb isn't, isn't loose, but it, it holds the cards this way. Your first finger is curled over the top and these three fingers are also curled over the side. So I guess in many ways, you're still gripping the cards even though they're on the table. So it's not you're putting the cards on the table and you just let loose, you're still gripping them like this and you're pressing down onto the deck. Then what's gonna happen is your hand moves to the side and as you can see, this starts to spread the cards out. So just give that a go a few times. Hold the cards like this. Ooh. Hold the cards in this position as we've gone over earlier put them down, you bevel them slightly to the side, you apply pressure down with your hand, and then just drag your hand to the side. Now you'll notice that as I do that, my hand sort of opens up. 
So it's, it's sort of cradled because there's lots of cards. Look at the position here, there's lots of cards. But then as I move my hand to the side, my fingers all flatten. So I'm sort of going from here to here. So try and also include that when you spread the cards to the side. You put the cards down, you spread them out, applying pressure down, and you open up your hand. And that's what's gonna start making the card spread. Now, the most important finger in the card spread is your first finger. And the reason for this is it determines how many cards are being let out of the deck to actually make the spread happen. So you'll, this is something you can't really teach. It just comes with muscle memory, but I want you to be aware of this which is as I spread the cards out, if I want them to be really far apart, you feel that with your first finger. So your first finger lets off cards more slowly when you want them to be further apart. So I can do this. You know, I'm, my first finger is letting cards off really slowly. And if I want cards to be close together, my first finger is much more loose and it just opens up. So for now, don't worry about that too much. To begin, what I want you to do is just practice holding the card in this position bevel the cards, place them onto the table, apply downward pressure, sideways movement, and do this over and over again on the right surface using the right deck, and you'll start to get a spread like this. This, the rest of it then just comes with practice. So just do that over and over again, and you'll then be ready to move on to part two, which is the wave. Very quickly, before I teach you how to do the really cool wave effect with these cards, once you've done the spread, I just want to quickly mention that if you want to turn into a true wizard, you can sign up to my free magic masterclass by clicking the first link in the description. Inside, I literally teach the same effects that Dynamo does on national television. I'll teach you how to put a thought inside your spectator's head and how to read someone's mind to get reactions like this. So if you're interested in learning magic, then signing up to this free magic masterclass should be an absolute no-brainer because I'm literally revealing things that are just too good to reveal on YouTube. So make sure you hit the first link in the description to sign up. And yes, it is 100% free, absolutely no strings attached. Anyway, let's go to part three and learn how to do the wave. So part three is the wave or the turnover. People call it different things, but I just think it looks awesome. I don't really care what it's called. So let's go to the table and I'll explain how to do it right now. So the good news about the wave, which looks like this, is that it's actually really easy if you've got a half decent card spread. So how does the wave work? Well, basically the wave is very simple. If you've got a consistent card spread where all the cards are the same distance away from each other, the wave is really easy to do. The only time a wave doesn't work is when you've got big gaps in the cards like this. You then try and do the wave and you'll notice only half the cards flip over because there's that big gap. So the most important thing before you attempt the wave is you're able to consistently take the cards and spread them out like this and the gap's pretty consistent. The next way to make the wave easier is the closer the cards are together, the easier the wave will be. Meaning don't try and learn the wave on a massive spread like that. Instead, just start off doing really tiny spreads and the wave is far less, uh, less likely to fall. So do a tiny little spread, maybe just this big, and then now there are no gaps in the cards, and all you're gonna do is pick up the very bottom card, so you just put your finger under it, and you lift up these cards here, and as you can see, all the cards just slowly start to pick themselves up in this really cool formation. And then you just run your finger along, let the cards fall off into your hand and just square them up. So this is what I mean, there's, there's actually not much to, to really teach in this part because what you see is what you get with the wave. The cards are like this, you pick up the bottom card, so long as the wave, the spread itself is consistent, you'll be able to spread out all the cards and then flip them over. So that's how you do the wave part of the card spread, but it's the most important thing is you focus on getting a really good card spread to begin before you actually attempt the wave. So that's the whole video guys. Thanks so much for watching. And if you've got any questions, just shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll try and get back to you. Also make sure you sign up to my free magic masterclass by clicking the first link in the description and I'll see you in the next video.